yeah so i recently did a top five favorite foundations and you guys really seem to like that so i'm gonna do top five favorite concealers today um some of them are drugstore and some are high end i know in the foundation video i only have one high end product and i'd love to do more drugstore but i'm just trying to be honest tell you what my favorite ones are i'm gonna tell you why i like them what they're for stuff like that so the first one i have to talk about is my number one favorite concealer of all time and it is the bye bye under eye from it cosmetics i am obsessed with this little guy here, here. this is the mini size i think it was about 10 bucks i might be wrong there but you only need the tiniest little bit so this little mini guy is going to last me forever you can use this under the eyes or on any spots um i think it's obviously meant for under the eyes since it is called bye bye under eye but it is fantastic it's pretty tacky it is super full coverage definitely gonna last all day it's not going to dry you out it's also not going to be oily it doesn't make my mascara like smudge underneath my eyes it's just really fantastic coverage i blend it in with my finger mostly and it's fantastic i love that it's in a squeezy tube really hygienic it's also waterproof if you were interested in having waterproof concealer i'm not really concerned with that but you know you never know so good this is my number one favorite of all time i will definitely be repurchasing this this is just my favorite thing in the universe next favorite is new and i did do the review on this i did a review on this along with the foundation that came out at the same time but i'll leave that video over here in the description box and it is the new maybelline master conceal by face studio Oh my god, this is the best drugstore concealer in the universe. I swear, if you like full coverage and creamy concealer that blends so easily that's for the under eyes and on spots, you will love this. If you've liked the Maybelline Fit Me, if you've liked, you know, all the ones from the drugstore that people talk about all the time, you'll love this. And it's so good. There's, I think, five or six shades. I'm in the one light medium. So good. Too squeezy too. Fantastic. So hygienic. Most blendable concealer I've probably ever used, to be honest. Even though I like the Bye Bye Under Eye a little bit better, like because that one's more tacky I feel like I don't know why I like that better this dries to like a matte finish and it just is the most blendable concealer I've ever used it's so creamy but yet so full coverage it is insane I'm wearing it right now actually and on my face and under my eyes it is so good I just can't say enough good things about it I'm really excited it's only six dollars what my third favorite is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Now, I don't think you can even find this in stores in America, which really sucks. Um, also, the foundation I'm, I've used before as well. But the concealer is really fantastic. You can find this for around $6 on Amazon. It's not that hard to get a hold of. Um, I've tried a lot of anti-fatigue, kind of brightening under eye products. There's like the Dream Lumi from Maybelline and the one from L'Oreal and all those. And I just never really liked them. I felt like they kind of got into my creases under my eyes and they just didn't give much coverage. They're more of like a highlighting product. And the reason I love this one is because it is highlighting and concealing it does a good job of covering dark circles this is going to be your best friend if you're like that person who has really really bad ones but if you look tired and you just want to brighten things up definitely try this as anti-fatigue effect and a radiant glow it definitely gives you that like look of like brightness so if you want to take it underneath in that triangle that people do or on your cheekbones this would be the product to do it it's really blendable pretty thin not full coverage it's going to be more of like a light medium coverage but if you were light makeup then i think this is going to be a great option it's really great really affordable and it's really creamy. Next is one that is actually there's six here, but this is just one I wanted to throw in real quick because it's not technically concealer, I would say. It's more of a brightener. Emily Noel always talks about this, and this is the Erase Paste from Benefit. It says a brightening camouflage for eyes and face. I used to use this in the past on my eyes, under my eyes, and on spots, and um, those videos are really old. But I love this stuff. It's so creamy and blendable. It's definitely better for under the eyes. It's fantastic for dark circles. And so what you could use if you have really bad dark circles is use this and then go over it with a concealer because this has that really peachy kind of undertone i have number two there i think there's three or four shades pretty much out of mine the only thing i like is the jar it's really unhygienic and kind of annoying so i'm gonna throw that in there next is gonna be the laura mercier secret camouflage which is when i was having super bad breakouts when i first started my channel this is what i purchased i'm in sc3 which i think is the most common one it's a cute little compact it comes with a mirror and two shades which i think is great because you can mix or you could just use one depending on like what your skin tone is because you know how skin tone changes constantly i really like this i obviously haven't used that much because you don't need much to get the coverage you want this is going to be for those girls who have horrible like acne or like scarring or something if you're young and you just have really bad acne that you want to cover you wear full coverage foundation this is a great option it doesn't blend that easily it can be a bit drying but it has that really really intense coverage you can look it up online people like rave about this i wouldn't use it under the eye like I said it's pretty drying so it's definitely good for like, your oily acne prone girls just you know one of those like really popular products and I would recommend it I do really like it I just can't use it all the time since I do have combination skin and it'll cling to dry spots so if you have dry skin this isn't gonna work for you but if you have oily or kind of normal skin then I would recommend this as a really good high coverage concealer and last but not least is a long-loved favorite many people from 
all over the world love this product and I know why. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have tried both the one for the face, it's called like um, Dark Spot Eraser, and this is the Dark Circle Eraser. And this product is really, really great. I know they used to make it in a squeezy tube. I don't know why they stopped. The only complaint I have is the packaging. And actually, most products that have the like, packaging that's annoying, I can overlook that. But this one is one of those ones I just get so annoyed with. And it's just because it's just annoying with this packaging. You can't get enough product out. It's really unsanitary. I know you can take this little like weird ball off the top of it. But it's just like, why would I even want to do that? Because then it gets messy and goes everywhere. The product itself is really great. It's a treatment and concealer. I don't know about the treatment part. I don't really feel like it ever helped my under eye circles. But it is a really great drugstore concealer. I recommend this one for young people. Like more teenage people who don't have really bad drug circles. And stuff like that. Who just want a little bit of coverage. Or you're tired going to school every day. This is going to work also on your face if you wanted it to. If you have spots. But it's just bacteria is just horrible so don't really know how to go around that maybe I put it on the back of your hand use a brush to apply it just such a nightmare with this packaging but is a really good product so I think that we should all make a petition to tell Maybelline to repackage this because it's just the packaging is like a nightmare but other than that, I recommend this. So I think that's all I have to say. Those are all my top favorite concealers. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about these products, please leave them in the description box below. Or if you want to see me use them, you can go through my videos um, or search in my, on my channel, like the name of one of these, and the videos where I use them should come up. And I think that's all I have to say. So go check me out on all my social media if you're interested in doing that. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews from me. I will leave my whole review playlist in the description box. Or if you subscribe if you want to see anything from me or you just like me or you just feel like subscribing or pushing a button. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! One more grape and then it's time to fill. So my third favorite is the Vermal Wake Me Up Foundation. No, scratch that. I have used to use this in the